Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Communication Tutorials. In this video, I am going to take up a numerical on matched filters. Please note, this is one of the previously asked MSA question. Let me rewrote the question first. A signal x of t equal to 4 e to the power of minus 2 t multiplied by u of t is applied to the input of the matched filter. Determine the resulting output. Right. Let us start with the solution part. Let me rewrite the given equation. Let me call this as equation 1. Let us now apply Fourier transform on both sides of equation 1. Therefore, it is given by x of omega is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity x of t into exponential of minus j omega t dt. Now, we note that the matched filter is causal and therefore, the integration limits has to change from minus infinity to plus infinity to 0 to infinity. Therefore, x of omega is equal to integral 0 to infinity x of t multiplied by exponential of minus j omega t dt. Let me now substitute equation 1 into this equation. This is equal to integral 0 to infinity x of t is 4 into e power of minus 2 t into u of t exponential of minus j omega t dt. Here we note that u of t is a unit impulse function of value 1. Therefore, x of omega becomes integral 0 to infinity 4 e to the power of minus 2 t into exponential of minus j omega t dt. Please note this is also exponential function and this is also exponential function and e to the power of a multiplied by e to the power of b can be written as e to the power of a plus b. So, this reduces to integral 0 to infinity 4 into exponential of minus 2t minus j omega t dt. Let me now take minus t as common in the exponential function this would be 0 to infinity 4 exponential of minus t and this would be 2 plus j omega then dt. Let us now perform the integration this is equal to 4 into integration of exponential of x is equal to exponential of x divided by the coefficient of x therefore this would be exponential of minus t into 2 plus j omega divided by minus of 2 plus j omega. This is over the limits 0 to infinity. So, let us now apply the limits. This would be minus 4 divided by 2 plus j omega and this would be exponential of upper limit minus infinity minus exponential of minus 0. So, this is equal to minus 4 divided by 2 plus j omega into exponential of minus infinity is 0 minus of exponential of 0 is 1. Therefore, the value of x of omega is equal to 4 divided by 2 plus j omega. Let me call this as equation 2. Please note here I have derived the value of x of omega only for your information. The question does not ask you to derive the value of x of omega. However, since we are given the value of x of t, its Fourier representation is also very important. That is why equation 2 is derived. Let me now continue with the rest of the numerical and now I will be using the impulse response of the matched filter. In time domain, it is given by 
h optimum of t is equal to x of capital T minus small t. Let me call it as equation 3. And in frequency domain, it is given by h optimum of omega is equal to x of minus omega multiplied by exponential of minus j omega capital T. Let me call this as equation 4. These are the impulse responses of the matched filter. Now, please note in equation 2, we have x of omega. So, let me now substitute x of omega into equation 4, which uses x of minus omega in the same. Therefore, h optimum of omega is equal to 4 divided by 2 plus j. Now, please note, we are supposed to write x of minus omega. So, here in equation 2 at the denominator, we have 2 plus j omega, but omega should now become minus omega and the rest of the thing will remain as it is. So, this would become 4 divided by 2 minus j omega multiplied by exponential of minus j omega capital T. In a very similar fashion, if I substitute equation 1, which is x of t in time domain into equation 3, which is the impulse response of the match filter, then I will obtain. Now, please note, when I am writing the exponential function, I should now replace t by capital T minus small t. Therefore, here this would become e to the power of minus small t minus of capital T and this is for the value of t less than or equal to capital T. Right. Let me now call this as equation 5. So, now we have written x of t, x of omega, h optimum of t and h optimum of omega as well. Let us now move on to find the output of the matched filter. Let us say it is y of t and it is equal to the input x of t convoluted with the impulse response h optimum of t. In technical terms, this is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity x of tau into h optimum of small t minus tau d tau. Now, looking into equation 5, you will note that h optimum of t is defined over the interval 0 to capital T. Therefore, the integral limits will now change to 0 to capital T. We have x of tau as it is. However, h optimum of tau is now written as h optimum of capital T minus tau. Then we have the d tau as it is and let us call this as equation 6. Previously from equation 3, we have noted that h optimum of t is x of capital T minus small t. Let me write that down. Therefore, h optimum of capital T minus of tau will be equal to x of capital T minus of, in place of t, you have to write capital T minus tau. This is equal to x of tau. Let me call this as equation 7. Now, I will substitute equation 7 back into equation 6. Therefore, y of t is equal to integral 0 to capital T x of tau multiplied by x of tau d tau. This is equal to integral 0 to capital T x square of tau d tau. Please note, this is nothing but the energy of the input signal x of t. Let me now substitute for x of tau here. This is equal to integral 0 to capital T. x of t is 4 into e to the power of minus 2t. But here we are representing everything in terms of tau. So, I will write it as minus 2 tau whole square d tau. This is equal to integral 0 to capital T. 4 square is 16 multiplied by 
e to the power of minus 4 tau d tau. Let us now perform the integration. It is 16 multiplied by integration of e power x is equals to e power x divided by the coefficient of x. Therefore, this would be e power minus 4 tau divided by minus 4 over the limits 0 to capital T. This is 16 divided by minus 4 multiplied by e to the power of minus 4 capital T minus e power minus 0. So, this is equal to minus 4 into e power minus 4 capital T minus 1. Let me now rearrange the contents of the bracket. I will write 1 first and then e power minus 4 t. So, the minus symbol at the minus 4 part will be eliminated and therefore, we will get the output of the matched filter as 4 into 1 minus e to the power of minus 4 t. This is the answer for this numerical. Well, if you like this video, kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more information on digital communication. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.